And where on this record is the moment for you, like you're comfortable as a player and you're in your wheelhouse and all that stuff, where's the musical moment that you're kind of going, wow, I'm doing something really different that I haven't done here before? Um, Other than the singers, of course, that, that, you know, where musically you're going, wow, this is, this is quite... Yeah, well, you know, I'd have to stop and think about that for a second. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I was having a really good time sort of, um, you know, just playing, doing the guitars yeah, for yeah. this because it was just sort of me and working with Eric Valentine sort of in this studio, just sort of having sort of freeform mm -hmm. guitar every day. Yeah. And I think there was moments like there's a song called Promise with Chris Cornell, mm -hmm. and I was, I was playing, uh, so, did the solo, playing with my fingers, and I was like, this is something I don't do all the time, but I, I do it live, but for some reason in the studio, I, I'm very intimidated by the, the red light in the studio. Yep. And it's, it's an unnatural. I, I record a lot, and I do it more and more just to try and get over that, that sort of fear of recording. Weird it, how that is. It, it sucks. <laughs> you know, it's hard to open up in the studio. I mean, I still, to this day, can do a concert and play ten times better live than I can, you know, on the spot in the recording yeah. studio. Add some reverb, some delay, put, put something on. So, yeah, but well, this is one of those records that yeah. we actually did it very flat. Yeah. And so it was right? in, in an analog. And so you had to perform it. There was no, yeah. like, uh, you know, what we do with Pro Tools all the time, which mm -hmm. is moving this and moving that, and, which I, I don't believe in anyway. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so this was very stark. The sound was very sort of flat and yeah. in your face. When, when you, uh, if you were to go, only a couple more questions here, and I'll, I'll let you go. Uh, when you have, uh, when you look back over past stuff away mm -hmm. from this record, I think we all have stuff that, uh, well, I'm speaking to me because I'm a musician too. When you record yourself, mm -hmm. you have stuff that you go, mm, I don't really think I can listen to that too much anymore. Not because it's not good, but you kind of moved on. Where's the moment that you go, I was burning at this point in your past? Um. That you sit there and go, if someone were to go, I have three minutes to check you out. What guitar solo? What, I, well, I, what record? What I, song? I would honestly say that there's a bunch of stuff. Like, I thought User Illusions was a place where, like, you know, everybody loves Appetite for Destruction. It has a mm -hmm. certain sound to it. But I was a really sort of young player. And so it's cool in that sense. There's a way that I play on that record that I could probably not do again, you know, because I was it's sort of the naivety of the whole thing. But when I did Use Your Illusions, I got into a certain, I had a certain fluidity going, and there was so much material, and I was really having a good time just jamming to all this material. And and I think, uh, you know, I, I was, I was, there was a song called Double Talk and Jive on that record, where I did a... Uh, uh, sort of a Spanish style kind of thing, and then it, an acoustic. It, or yeah, well, it starts off on electric, okay. and then at the end, it uh, it cross fades into an acoustic Spanish thing. And I thought that was, you know, like when I'd really sort of arrived as a guitar player and, and had my own ideas and was sort of uh, be able being able to spontaneously create what I was hearing in my head on the fretboard. You know, that's cool. That's nice. So that's your moment where you go, go yeah, and listen to that. Man. That's what I'm all about, really. Yeah. And and now you know, I know November. Rain was also on that record, which I thought had a certain kind of spontaneous melodic thing to it. It wasn't like all worked out, but it's very long, and that was all just sort of playing off the cuff. And really, yeah. you didn't work out. No, I mean we I, we played the song, and it, it it works with with me. It's always like this: you play the song, and when you get to wherever the solo break is, it sort of speaks for itself. And and it really, the, for me, the art of of lead playing is to. Um, to accentuate where the song is going, to to be an extension of the song, and mm -hmm. so usually the first thing that you come up with is um, pretty much the right thing because it's the first thing off the top of your head. If yeah. you're in the zone, that's where you go. And so I've always found that 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 idea every time I get to that section is basically stays roughly the same, give or take a note. And so November Rain was one of those things from the first time that we played it. It sort of just set itself up, mm -hmm. you know, sort of wrote itself. All right. Uh, one more question: You, when you, where you are in your life now with this great new record, and you're going to go out and tour and everything. Yeah. Uh, when you look at the Guns N' Roses camp, what comes to mind now? Oh, um, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm. Let's see, what does come to mind? You know, I, is it a train wreck? Do you look at it like a car accident, or do you look at it as, as it is, as it stands, or where? Yeah, as it stands right now, where well, you're, you're, where you're at right now, yeah, when you look at yeah. them now doing their thing. I, it's just sort of them, them. It's very distant 
really, really a distant kind of a thing. I, I don't feel, I, I feel a semblance of connection to Axel, which will always be there because we sort of, in our own way, grew up together, you know, at a very crucial point in our, in our lives. Um, and so that's always there. But as far as the, the concept of being connected to, to Guns N' Roses from beyond 1996 is gone you know? yep you've, you've separated yourself you've moved on yeah well it's just, you know you I mean, it, 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 it 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 went through a lot of changes just to get to that point yeah you know and so once i'd finally walked away from it it, it really sort of there had been a, a deep ravine built in it anyway mm -hmm. yeah thanks for your time man yeah, appreciate it it was awesome, <laughs> awesome. i get to talk guitars for a second yeah